with Cabral from Benefit, I'm going to outline up my eyebrows, starting with the bottom and then the top. Now I'm going to start filling in that tail, moving slightly towards the front of the brow. Now once I get to the very um, start of the brow, I'm going to do hair-like strokes. This is just going to look softer and avoid the blocked brow look. Using the Tarte Concealer, I'm going to underline my eyebrows using this flat synthetic concealer brush. This is going to give me that crisp and defined finish to my eyebrows. And I'm also going to use that same concealer as a base all over the eyelid. Now to prevent the concealer from creasing, I'm just going to set it with a bit of translucent powder. Now for today's look, I'm using the Jeffree Star Androgyny Palette. The first shades I'm going to be using are these two here called Safe World and Charm. So the first shade I'm using is that neutral, slightly cool tone brown. I'm going to be blending this throughout the crease, going back and forth using a lot of circular motions and of course slightly blending it up towards the brow. Now I'm going to pop on that second shade, it's like a kind of yellow orangey tangerine type of shade. I'm just going to pop this over the top of our previous color. I'm going to blend this throughout the crease going back and forth once again using a lot of circular motions. Next using nylon eyeshadow from MAC Cosmetics. I'm going to use this shade to highlight underneath the brow bone. The next shade I'm using is called Fetish. It's like a, it's pretty much a burgundy shade. I'm going to be using a smaller blending brush from Zoeva. I think it's 228. I'll have it listed down below, but I'm pretty much going to place that color first throughout the crease. So I'm just getting all that pigment there and then I'm going to start blending it. Okay, so using that same shade but a smaller bullet brush, I'm going to pat this color onto the inner part of the eye, on the eyelid, sorry, and then the outer corner of the eyelid, pretty much leaving the center bare. Now using the Inglot Liquid Eyeshadow in 13, um, it's a very nice neutral color and it's good to use as a base for eyeshadows. So I'm just going to apply this onto the center of the eyelid because we are creating that halo slash spotlight eye. So I'm just going to pat that on very um, clean and precisely. You don't need to be as precise as I do, but I just like it to look clean. Um, and then over top, I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Siberian Gold Skin Frost, which is actually a highlighter. Um, and I'm just going to pat this pretty much over the top. I'm going to set that liquid eyeshadow, and it's also going to add like an extra foiled look, really make the um, center pop. Then I'm going to go back in with that burgundy shade and just pat it on to the kind of outer areas of the gold eyeshadow just to help it blend a little bit more. The next shade I'm using is this dark brown from the same palette. I'm going to pop this onto the inner part of the eyelid and also the outer corner of the eyelid and this is going to really make the center pop. Using the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner, I'm just going to create a very thin line across the eyelid. This is just going to help my eyelash band to blend in. Before lashes, I just like to apply a bit of mascara. Because we are applying falsies, you don't need to apply too much mascara. Now for lashes, I'm using these from Dodo Lashes in the style D313. First time using these and I'm literally obsessed. They're so stunning, dramatic long and just really fluffy. So once I've applied those I'm just going to go ahead and start with my base. So I'm using the Napoleon Purtis Primer. I'm going to apply this all over the face including the forehead. For foundation I'm using the Dermacol makeup cover which I purchased from eBay. If you are going to buy this foundation off eBay just be very careful um, as you know there's a lot of fakes on there but that is pretty much where I purchased mine. So I like to apply it with the Kabuki brush and then dab it in with the Real Techniques sponge. Moving on to concealer, I'm using the Tarte Concealer in two shades lighter. I'm going to pop this underneath my eye to conceal and brighten, down the nose and also the forehead. And then I'm just going to blend that in with one of these mini sponges. So this is from Real Techniques. Um, it's very little, perfect for the under eye area. It's a bit difficult though because like my nails are quite long. Um, 
but it is a really nice sponge and works really well for under the eye area. To set my under eyes, I'm using the Charlotte Banana Powder and the Real Technique Setting Brush. Just going to pop that underneath the eyes and then I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Inglot HD Press Powders. These are my favorite powders and I'm just going to use a very big booty brush. This one's from BH Cosmetics and I'm just going to set the rest of my face. To bronze up, I'm using Give Me Sun um, from MAC, my favorite matte bronzer. And this is a brush from Zoeva. I'm going to leave all the numbers down below because I know a lot of you guys like um, to know what brushes I use. So yeah, I'm just going to bronze up my face, the cheeks, the forehead and the jawline. To further contour my cheeks, I'm going to use this contour um, powder from Makeup Geek. I haven't used this in a while and it actually smashed in one of my palettes. Um, so that's why it looks a bit munted. But I'm pretty much going to chisel out my cheekbones even more. So once I've contoured my cheeks, I'm just going to do my nose as well, add a bit of dimension, and yeah, just going to um, hopefully make my nose look a little bit thinner. Now to highlight the face, I'm using Siberian Gold from Jeffree Star. This was the same color like we used on the eyelid. So I'm just going to start off by highlighting the nose first, and then the cupid's bow, and then we're going to move on to the cheeks. So we're going pretty cray cray with the highlighter today. Um, I really like this color. I also like King Tut, which is a little bit more gold, more bronzy gold. And then this one is more of like a light gold. Now to finish off the eyes, I'm going to apply the same colors that we used on the top on the bottom. So we're going to use that kind of tangerine shade. And then afterwards, we're going to use the burgundy shade. As you guys know, I do like to smoke out the bottom lash line. So we're going to buff it out really well and make it look very smoky and slightly grungy. Now for the waterline, I'm going to use um, a eyeliner from MAC called Teddy. I really love this liner. It's like a very dark bronze brown, and it just really makes my eyes pop. So I do like using this instead of a black sometimes. And lastly, to finish off the eyes, we're going to apply a bit of mascara to our lower lashes. So to finish off the look, we're going to do the lips of course. So we're going to use the MAC lip liner in cork. We're going to outline my lips first, and then we're going to go in with another MAC lip liner called Oak. It's a much lighter. Um, so I'm just going to fill in the lips using that, and also I'm going to apply it over top of the dark lip liner just so it doesn't look too dark. And then we're just going to finish off with a lip gloss from Napoleon Purtis. So that was my completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really happy to be back on YouTube and uploading more videos. So if you guys enjoyed this look, don't forget to like, share, leave a comment, and of course subscribe if you haven't already.